Kevin back here with MAP. Today we are going to be doing some more work to the Type R behind me. As you can see, Charlie's still not here, so I'm taking over on this guy. Today we're gonna be working on some of the suspension components for the Type R here. Obviously from the factory has an extremely good suspension, very, very capable. So we don't wanna change anything too drastic as far as that goes, but we do plan on tracking the cars, so we wanna have a little bit more adjustability. And that is where today's modifications come into play. So we are gonna be installing the HKS coilovers down here. HKS was kind enough to send these out, so huge shout out to those guys. These guys are built phenomenally. They're actually hand built in Japan and sent out. Uh, obviously has a little bit of lead time on there to get them, but boy, let me tell you, is that weight worth it? So you might be asking yourself, why would you want to change the suspension? Why would you want to go to a set of coilovers? And what's the benefit behind that? Well, to be honest with you, unless you're doing any sort of road racing application, probably not something that you're gonna to want to do but if you are there's gonna be a huge benefits in going to a suspension setup like this all right so we'll kind of go into some of the features and benefits here in just a minute but we're gonna go ahead and have tiny jump on and start getting these installed in the car I'm here breaking my neck looking over my shoulder stepped into your skin got me tripping over myself figured I would say something passing the time if you come on over here we could be on the same side 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 Ow, it hurt my thumb. All right guys, well Tiny is working on getting that side of the car all taken apart so we can get the coilovers installed. We're gonna go ahead and take a little bit closer look at the suspension setup that is on the Type R. As you guys know, one of the fastest front wheel drive cars in production, if not the fastest, a lot of that has to do with Honda's unique design for their suspension on the OEM system here. Okay, this is gonna use what Honda calls their dual access suspension or dual access strut suspension system. Really cool stuff that they have going on in here is gonna separate the dampener from the knuckle as well as have that AD system which is going to be their active damping system all right so that's basically just going to allow you to change between modes so fantastic for the way that the car is set up from the factory or if even you go with smaller wheels different tires performs great out of the box and again it allows you to retain that ADC system or comes with that I should say so looking at the suspension system here, obviously a really great one. What are some of the reasons why you might go with a different suspension setup versus the OEM setup? Well, first and foremost is you maybe want to lower the car a little bit. That's fantastic. Car looks great, even on the stock wheels with just a little bit of a drop. If that's the route that you're looking to go, coilover's probably not going to be the best setup for you. That's where a good set of springs will allow you to retain everything that is great about the Type R from the factory while providing a little bit of a drop. Mostly for aesthetics, there is some handling characteristics in there as well. Now, what we chose to do is go with a complete coilover system. So here is the front piece of the HKS system. Again, the reason that we decided to go with the HKS is because of A, the brand. We have a Type R here. We want to go with an iconic Japanese brand. And the quality of these are phenomenal. On top of that, they come right out of the box, ready to be installed on the vehicle. Probably the biggest thing when it comes to the HKS system. You can take them out of the box. You can put them on the car right away. They already set up for preload. They're already set up for a height adjustment you can put them on and they are good to go now you might be asking yourself what about that ADC now again that's one of those reasons why going with the spring might be a better option if you want to retain that you do lose that adjustability anytime that you go with a coilover system regardless of the system so because we're using this car and building it for the track we want to have the adjustability that a set of coilovers will give you what HKS does so that you're not driving around with a check engine light on or that ADC light which can get a bit annoying is they do include what they call their ADS system bypass. Basically, you're gonna be able to plug this in. This is included with the coilovers, and that is going to tell the system or the computer, or the ECU, or whatever you wanna call it, that that system is still intact and good to go, so you won't have a check engine light on or that ADC light coming on. But again, you won't have that functionality anymore. Yep. 
So, as you can probably already tell, been uh, been working hard over here. Already got the driver's side all finished up, which you can't see because it's over there and you're over there. So now we're working on the passenger side. So so far, uh, disconnected the lower ball joints and then removed the bolts holding in the control arm. Disconnected the sway bar and then the stabilizer arm here. HKS actually come with a handy little instruction manual in uh, Japanese and English formatting. You want to be super JDM, you can try and understand this. I I can't. I know that that looks like a smiling face. That's about that's about as far as my knowledge goes. And uh, they actually recommend in their instructions that you take this knuckle out. I'm going to do it a little differently just cause. I don't know, like an adventure. No, I just, I found that this is what works best for me. Or you can follow their instructions along in here. So yeah, basically the gist of it is pull this control arm out to give you some more room to pull down. And then you'll loosen these two pinch bolts here. And then you kind of shimmy this down all as one unit. And then you can take the strut out from the top. It is not a fun job trying to get this pinch bolt uh, knuckle assembly away from the strut. They, like a lot of debris and stuff gets in there and they kind of get locked in place. But it is possible to use some chisels and some pry bars. Not, don't use a chisel as a chisel, don't chisel away at it, but you can kind of spread the ears a little bit. You gotta be careful not to break them. That was a problem on Subarus some time ago, but kind of spread it a little bit and then uh, work its way out. It is possible, so. We're gonna go ahead and get all the arms and stuff out of the way and uh, show us getting it all taken apart. So this is the kind of like shimmy and wiggle part. And then it'll, just like that, just like magic, it'll separate. So then you just get your handy dandy tool, take the 14s out of here, hold them in the strut. Fortunately, this thing is uh, relatively light for a stock strut, so. And now we can put in this bad dog. I should probably, maybe that's a sign I should start working out. We're about to go into a, another four week quarantine. Maybe it's time to lift some weights. front at least we are. I gotta button some stuff up. Uh, there's some sway bar links that go in here. Yeah, that's pretty much the, the gist of it. Now it's just going back together how you took it apart and then off to the rear, which is significantly easier. I say that now before I've done it, but I, I think I think with all my heart that this, this car won't fall apart. Popping on a west side, cause it's West Day. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day. Popping on a west side, cause it's West Day. I just made a thousand, blew it in your face. I've been going in, uh, I'ma close the case. I can't wait no more, man, I gotta blow the day. I'ma blow the day. I ain't hearing what they say. Oh. Need a blue face. I've been caring oh, about yeah. the race. I've been trying to eat. I need more than just a taste. So, HKS includes these uh, sway bar links that are a little bit shorter. That way, you're not changing stuff about the suspension more. Like, you're not changing characteristics of things and whatnot. I'm nauseous. Now I gotta drop down, yeah, feeling nauseous. Gotta drop top down. Uh, it's like pretty much the same as SIs. So you'll take this fender liner out of the way. Two bolts, one bolt here, one bolt here, loose in that one. And then this whole Johnny will swing down and then this will pop out. It's pretty easy. So we'll go up in the air and get all that underside stuff taken apart. And then, uh, yeah. Popping on a west side, cause it's west day. I just made a thousand, do it in face. So this out, sway bar links out. Then this will come down, the spring will come shooting out. So we're gonna put a bottle jack underneath it. You can use a floor jack, if you're doing this on the ground. Lower this down slowly, pull the spring out, pull this bolt out, lower the car back down a little bit, pull it out the top there, replace, rinse, repeat. Epic. 
tryna play I make 20 racks to wrap up on the stage, huh? I invested that right back to my estate, huh? Dinner table, everyone gon' get a play, huh? Started with all the bills. Hey, it didn't explode in my face. That's always a plus. Like these cars have uh, like active suspension, so this this uh, little doohickey here, as I'm gonna call it, um, controls the damping. Not super familiar with this system, but just something to like like when you put it in sport mode, it kind of tightens everything up and gives it a little bit more response. Uh, when you go to a coilover, a full body coilover, this gets deleted, and actually we'll get to it in a little bit. HKS includes a uh, little piece so that the light doesn't come on, so that's a, that's a nice little bonus feature. So you don't have annoying lights on the dash. And, uh, and you lose a little bit of, uh, well, I say, uh, on the fly tuning. Those are just air quotes there for some like hard, um, good adjustments that you can make. You know, it's a give and take kind of world. You're giving up your fancy active control for just a more adjustability. So, is what it is. And I mean, with these coilovers, they're fully adjustable. Not sure uh, how many ways and if it's um, jounce and rebound, but they are adjustable to some degree. So yeah, you don't lose it completely. It just doesn't change on the fly. Dampen. It's not dampening. It's not getting wet, Tyler. It's damping. 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 It's not getting wet. Dampening is to make something wet. Damping is to, uh, I don't know what the correct wordage would be, but straight from the dictionary.com. Damping. A decrease in the amplitude of an oscillation as a result of energy being drained from the system to overcome friction or other resistive forces. So that's talking about the jounce and re well, mostly jounce of the suspension. When it compresses, you're damping. Them. You are slowing down. You are absorbing the shock of the road change, the condition of surface. That's what's happening. Dampening makes slightly wet, much like me on payday when I make it rain. I'm away to that show, told them pipe down, I don't need no hoes I've been out with my bros, even back then I knew I'd grow Now I'm knocking down these doors, they ain't keeping up when I switch these flows They don't want no smoke, can't get hot, I can play so low I've been trying to get it, told them I'ma run it up Out on night, so I told them go and fill my cup Now they texting, but back then they never show me love So that about wraps it up for our FK8X HKS coilover install. You guys can kind of get a good view of how the car is sitting. It's not uh, not too dirt nasty low as the kids say, but it definitely is a, a nice little drop. And uh, I, yeah, this is how it comes out of the box. I made zero adjustment after putting these on and I think it looks perfect. This is exactly where I would set it and probably most of you would be pretty comfortable. Stay tuned, stock wheels aren't gonna be on here much longer, so. It's a little teaser for the upcoming stuff. Always super impressed by everything HKS does. We are a proud partner with them. We love everything they do. Nice, cool addition to the car. Glad we were able to, to be a part of that. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us on the gram, follow me on the gram, follow Kevin, follow Charlie, follow everybody. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and uh, peace out. Running, running. You are all I needed, baby, now I'm buzzing, buzzing. Yeah, she said I didn't change. I said you just stay the same. Swear she used to have a plan, but now she